Good morning. I want to uh, come this morning and share some things with you. It is May the 4th, 2023. And um, we had talked before about um, how uh, there's many uh, false messages false teachings and false uh, prophetic word going forth. And I wanted to give kind of a clearer understanding of why I say that. And I want to also start off by reading scripture uh, out of Isaiah chapter 40. I'm going to meet it, read it out of the Message Bible and tie this in to what Father God is doing today. And so as this coming up, I'm trying to wait for it to, it's raining, so it's kind of causing things to run a little slow. Uh, there it goes. Um, it's the message of comfort. And I want to tie this message of comfort in to why I'm saying that there's a lot of false uh, teachings and things going on uh, thus far. And so in Isaiah uh, 40, it says, Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak softly and tenderly to Jerusalem but also make it very clear that she has served her sentence, that her sin is taken care of, forgiven. She's been punished enough and more than enough, and now it's over and done with. Thunder in the desert, prepare for God's arrival. Make the road straight and smooth, a highway fit for our God. Fill in the valleys, levels of of the hills, smooth out the ruts, clear out the rocks. Then God's bright glory will shine, and everyone will see it. Yes, just as God has said. I want to stop there. The reason why I say that there is a lot of false uh, uh, teaching and prophetic word going forth, every time Father God speaks through his prophets, and as he, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit delivers to those that shepherds over Father God's people. Yahweh always makes it a clear path. And when he speaks, he speaks to bring awareness, to deliver, to comfort. And what we're seeing today is, um, and I want to start off by talking about um, the the coins, the big coins, the Shebu Inu coins and things of that nature. I had a dream, um, I can't remember if it was the first part of this year or if it was last year, but the dream was about the theft and the lies behind the coins. Now, the reason why I want to bring start with the coins is because whenever Father God is moving, he will also, for one, he will show you the enemy, and for two, he will show you what he's doing. If we have, if we see and we have seen in the news where um, Bitcoin crashed and then the other guy, and I can't remember the this particular coin, but the other guy embezzled or uh, everything that he was doing through this particular coin just fell apart. Those are warning signs. Anything the Father God is doing, he's not going to do it to where the enemy can come in and take what he's delivering. So why is it that he would deliver a wealth transfer through uh, crypto? If man can take it and misuse it and do what he chooses to do with this particular area, then Father God is not in it. Anything that he does, he releases it and no one can touch it. When he says that what I have for you, no one can take, that's exactly what he means. And so we have to realize that if it doesn't balance with what Yahweh is speaking, it doesn't balance with the word of God, then it's not Father God. We can make something look good and uh, put it out there in the atmosphere for many to clamp onto it because it looks good, it sounds good, but it's not biblical. These are false teachings and false prophetic. Um, there's another area that I also wanted to cover uh, in, in sharing what Father God is doing right now in bringing his people to a place to understand that we have have to and must trust him right now. 
at uh, every step of the way from here on out, we have to listen to the voice of God. Now, I don't have all the answers. I don't know all. I don't have the ability or the capacity to know everything. And I'm not uh, vain or or uh, uh, pious to think that I do. But what I do know is what Father God has given me, and I will share it with those that will listen uh, uh, to his body, uh, you know, that, that will listen that is in his body, excuse me. And so as I'm sharing these things uh, with Father God's people, I want there to be a clear understanding that I don't know everything. I'm just giving what Father God has given me, what Yahweh has spoken to my spirit and to my heart. Um. We're in a in a time this, of devastation, and, and there's more uh, devastation to come. But one of the things that Father God is wanting us to do is to pay attention to where he is and where he's taken his bride. All these other voices that are speaking right now, if they are not pointing you to uh, how to uh, sustain yourselves, how to survive, in, in the coming days, months, and, and years, that Father God is moving and, and setting up the stage for his people. He is speaking about uh, a great falling away. And the great falling away will come because of the lies that many are speaking. And when those that see these things don't come to pass, they will be discouraged and think, where is my God? He has left me, and that, you know, and they will fall away from their faith. Uh, this is going to happen the end of this year and part of next year, this great falling away, because people will be uh, misled in what Father God is wanting them to see because of uh, tickling ears and the flesh want, wanting to be stroked by listening to lies. I, you know, most people today would rather listen to lies and believe lies than believe in the truth because the truth is uh, hard. The truth is not comfortable. The truth will make you examine yourself, examine your walk, examine your lifestyle. And so many don't want to hear the truth. They just want to run as they choose after uh, uh, lies, after fables, after deception. And at the end, there is destruction. When I talked about many going back into the desert for a season, Father God spoke that. He says that I'm sending many back into the desert because of their lack of um, authority, of, of authority under God, lack of commitment, um, lack of repentance. And so many will have to go back for a season through the desert. And I talked about Elijah and how Elijah went through the desert running from Jezebel. And so these things are happening even right now. When I talk about false prophets, false teachers, and things of this nature, what I'm talking about is those that are not uh, giving uh, heed to what's going on right now to prepare God's people that we survive uh, until the breaking of uh, the corruption. We're seeing so much uh, exposure going on in the uh, uh, government, going on in the, the body of Christ, going on in uh, uh, the economic systems, and also um, exposure within uh, our churches, you know, as far as, and it doesn't matter the de denomination, everything is being exposed. Um as he is exposing things, he's also revealing what he's doing. But when we have leaders that are not uh, uh, drawing you to see what Father God is doing, they're drawing you to themselves. Uh, they're speaking blessings and speaking uh, the camels are coming and they're speaking uh, uh, we have to build Gosha. Okay, I believe in that because we have to build a relationship deeper and deeper with Father God. We have to. I understand that part. But the reason behind saying a lot of it is to draw men to themselves. We are to be preparing Father God's bride for his coming. And not only for his coming, 
we are to also be building the kingdom of God here in the earth. And these things have to have to be done as Father God has given the blueprint for that. There's going to be so much uh, 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 chaos in the earth. And so he's releasing the wealth transfer to those of us that will build the kingdom of God in strength here on earth until his arrival. And what that looks like is we have a, a, a glimpse of it through the life of Joseph. We have a glimpse of it through uh, King Solomon. We have a glimpse of it through Joseph and how Father God gave him back a hundredfold for his double for his trouble. So these are areas where we are to see how God is bringing up his leaders today and put positioning us in such a way that we have to be uh, uh, good stewards of what he's getting ready to release, that we're building storehouses. And we're also raising up Gosha as far as drawing people to Father God's heart. And so there's, there's, uh, or Goshen, however you want to say that. I may be saying it wrong. But this is where we are right now. We are, uh, 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 to hear what Father God is saying, uh, act on what He is saying, act on what He's doing. And only that, that's coming through the, the true prophets. We're speaking a heavy word right now. It doesn't sound, uh, uh, pleasing. It doesn't sound like Father God is is dropping all these blessings upon us. It sounds the opposite, because Father God wants to prepare His people for the the uh, the chaos and the de- devastation that is coming, and that we know that through it He's going to hold us all together and provide for us. Um, there's so many that are speaking and talking about these blessings and all of this favor. Everyone, by the sound of my voice, won't see it that way. We have to realize that Father God is in control of everything that's going on. And he is preparing his people for, for, uh, uh, to be sustained during this horrific time. But we have to listen to the true voices of God and reason. If there's chaos going on around us, then how is it that you're going to be blessed and highly favored, which you are, which you are. Now, don't don't get my words twisted. What I mean by that is if you're looking at a day to day uh, lifestyle, you see in corruption everywhere, mayhem everywhere. And so if you having leaders that are speaking to you, uh, you're to be blessed, don't, you know, and, and highly favored and, and all of these good things are coming to your life. And then you don't see it because of the things that's going on. You will be discouraged. Not that Father God isn't moving because he is. But there's certain things that Father God is doing to maintain his people. But it is not this puffed up. Uh, uh, your pocketbooks full of money type uh, teaching. That's not Father God. He's going to sustain each and every one of us that trust him. He's going to bring wealth, the wealth into our hands that trust him. I talked about how leaders uh, have uh, in the past, and some even now, have built kingdoms unto themselves and not the kingdom of God. And what I mean by that, you see many leaders that have built wealth around themselves and not have and not have built the storehouse so that Father God's people can have plenty. We're all to have plenty, not just one person that's over 5,000 people. How they will have uh, jets and, and these big homes and all these cars. That is not of God. That is greed. That is a spirit of greed. There's a spirit of mammon. Father God says that my house shall be blessed, that my storehouse shall have plenty. And what does that look like? If we are building uh, storehouses as Joseph had done and as Solomon, King Solomon has done with God, Father God's people, 
to cover them in such a way that everyone receives a, a lifestyle that is blessed. We should not have to go trying to figure out how our bills are to be met and how we are to uh, eat and, and survive and drive cars when we have leaders that are fleecing our pockets and taking everything that we have and making themselves fat. That is not of God. And I don't I know that many pastors probably would be mad at me, but that's OK, too. Because they were mad at Yeshua, Yahweh. They was mad at him. You know, that's why they they, they threw stones at him and, and uh, you know, whipped him with whips. Because they were mad of the truth. But I come to you today just with, with saying this. When we're listening for the voice of God in speaking, we need to listen with clarity. Chew up the meat and spit out the bones. We have to follow uh, the word of God and allow him to build us up in our most holy faith that we're able to sustain, that we're able to be sustained during this time of calamity. He has all that we need, but it's not the way that many are speaking because those ways are uh, incorrect. They don't have a a strong foundation. But as we follow Father God, and as we're listening to the, the, the true prophets as they're speaking to give us direction, this is where we need to be right now. That we all come to a place of, uh, uh, of greatness, and that we're all sustained by Father God because he's going to bless us all. That's his promises. But we have to wait and do it his way. And it's not a, Father God is not a microwave God. He said, you know, he said to me through one uh, word, he says, I'm not a puppet and my people are not puppeteers. So we have to realize that everything he's doing, he is doing it step by step, moment by moment in his timing and in his ways. We have to continue to do the first thing that seek him and his kingdom first, praying and interceding. And that he gives us direction and instruction to go on. Because the blessings are coming. It's just not coming the way that we think it is. And how people are speaking that it's it's here. Because that's a misrepresentation of who God is. It's his timing. It's his ways. He knows a perfect time. And so as I close, I ask that you have a great and wonderful Thursday. Until the next video, be blessed. Like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment, if you will.